Hey there everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have another stamp and show and tell for you using the Timeless Tidings stamp set from the holiday catalog and the Under the Mistletoe DSP. So today we're going to be working with Old Olive, Early Espresso, and Real Red. So we're going to put this fun card together for you today. And remember, all the instructions are on the tutorial on next week's show and tell news. So stay tuned to the show and tell and you'll be able to pick up that PDF tutorial real easy. Okay, so let me get started. So our card base is going to be Old Olive. Okay, that's pretty simple. I have a piece of this lovely DSP that I'm just going to go ahead and layer on my early espresso, which is the coordinating color for the pine cones in there. So that's really simple and then that's just going to layer right on to the center of our card. So stunning and simple. Okay, there's that. Then I have a piece of 2x2 two two cardstock. Now this was a little tricky to trim, so you might want to start with a little bit longer and then cut it shorter if you want, but I'm going to make this tag. So I'm using the scalloped tag punch, and I'm just going to slide this in. Now it almost completely disappears because it's so short, but it's in there. And I'm going to trim the tag first. And pull that back out. So now I've got my tag. Now the reason I trimmed it first was because if I stamped my sentiment too high on it, I would have cut it off. So this way I'm able to see through my clear block for positioning and make sure I don't get off, oh, but I stamped it upside down. So we're going to flip it over and try that again. Let me make sure I'm holding the stamp the right way. Alright, cardstock has two sides. That's always a good, a good thing. All right, so there we go. There's our tag. All right, so that's gonna go on our card. Then we're gonna go ahead and stamp with Old Olive. I'm stamping the mistletoe image here, okay? Now what I did here is I'm going to use my Old Olive watercolor pencil. I'm just gonna add some color in to the leaves. Okay, now I'm not worried about filling it in completely because what am I going to do? I'm going to use my blender pen to smooth out the color, move it around. So the blender pen will make the watercolor pencil a little more um, smooth and you can kind of push the color where you want it. So you can leave it darker in some spots or pick it up with it and make it lighter. So the watercolor pencils are really a lot of fun. So I know I've been using the blends a lot lately, but this one I decided I wanted this nice, soft, watercolor pencil look to the leaves. So, just like that, I've smoothed out all those little pencil marks in my image. Okay, and then blender pen, you just brush it off until it runs clear and you're good to go. Now, I did originally use my Real Red uh, watercolor pencil for the berries, but I didn't like that they were too light. I wanted them to really stand out and pop because the red on the paper really pops. So I'm using my marker to do the berries. Okay, so then you have to take your paper snips and trim it out. Now I have done that ahead of time, save some time on the video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed my little stem through my tag piece there, flip it over. I'm going to take a dimensional and tack that down. Tri tricky, huh? I'm going to put another one down here on the corner. I'm going to add one more kind of up here. Peel all these off. That's easy enough. So now I've got my tag and my embellishment. I'm going to put that on. Now from there I have a piece of 8 inch 1 8 old olive and I'm going to do my bunny ear bow. So find the middle, make two loops, right? Crisscross, pull it through the center, pull gently. Then you can tug on the ears and the tails to make it whatever size you want as far as 
fullness, then I just bring my tails together, take my paper snips, give them a little haircut here, so they're the same length, and then I'm just going to put that on with a glue dot. Here they are. I was like, where are they? I apparently did not put them back where I keep them on the table usually. So, alright, so I just put that on a glue dot, and I'm going to put that right in here. Now, great, card's done. Then I'm also going to do mistletoe on my envelope. Okay, now if you want to step it up just a little bit, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but can you see my berries? Okay, here's the ink. See these berries are a little bit brighter and a little bit glossy? What I did was I took my fine tip glue, you know, my long barrel one with the pin, and I just dropped a dollop onto each one of those. Now you have to let it sit and dry for a while. It's going to take a while, um, but you kind of get that glossy sheen to them. So if you want to go a step farther and you have time for that to dry, you can do that. The other thing we have in the catalog for the holiday are the red rhinestones. So you could also pop red rhinestones on those and make them glimmer and shine as well. Okay, so there is another quick show and tell card using the Under Mistletoe and the Timeless Tidings stamp set. Hope you're enjoying your stuff from your holiday catalog and have some fun stamping. All right, everybody, uh, comments below and thumbs up are always appreciated. And I will see you all again soon. I have one more card with this to show you next week, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, happy stamping. Have a great day. Bye-bye.